Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we are out in the desert. I came out a couple days early for SHOT Show 2018, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for an adventure today in the desert. I'm an Eastern Woodlands guy, ocean, woods, mountains, back in the East Coast. So this is a totally different environment for me, but should be cool. We'll learn some new stuff. Let's head into the desert and see what we can find. Alright, so I want to show you a couple things I've already found that's pretty cool. First are these. These, I think they're uh, cones from a juniper tree. If not, it's definitely some sort of, you know, pine-like tree. If you look up close, you can see they're just covered in the sap from the trees. So, that's one thing I found. And then the other thing is this. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. So what we're looking at here are, I believe, juniper berries. And I think they're edible, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not gonna eat them. So some people are like, well, you know, I think they're pretty good, so I'll eat them. For me, no way, absolutely not, unless I'm 100% 100% sure. So anyhow, some cool discoveries already out in the desert. So I just stopped by this tree right here, went to grab this uh, pine cone, it just fell off really easily. But this is the same kind of pine cone I saw earlier. Um, this is not a juniper, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, pinion pine. Um, and I, again, this is like from books I've read in the past. I'm by no means a desert expert, but um, yeah, so cool to see that. There are little, um, looks like kind of nuts in here and there's a shell around them. They've been, it's hard to see there, but there's a tiny little hole. They've been eaten by bugs and things like that, it looks like, but again, learning process, cool to figure some stuff out. Oh, there's a little bit of a, of a nut there. Look at that. So there's a tiny little bit of a uh, nut inside that pine cone. So again, since I'm not totally sure, I'm gonna bring this home and then we'll see if I can eat it. But uh, yeah, just learning, love learning. So I wanna share a couple observations with you already. Um, first off, it's just totally beautiful. It's cool to be in a place where it's, everything is different than what you're used to seeing when you're out in wilderness. It's quiet for the most part. Um, every once in a while, there'll be an A-10 warthog flying over here. Uh, you know, there's some sort of base, I'm sure, around here, or many bases, but anyhow, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Every once in a while, you can hear a raven out in the distance making some noise, circling around. But it is, uh, yeah, it's just stunning. Quiet, beautiful, so unique, so different. It's awesome. And now we're headed up the hill, let's go. So here's something interesting. There's been tracks everywhere in the snow, mice, voles, rabbits, things like that. This is the track of some sort of hoofed animal. There are, um, this is a free range area, so there may be you know, cattle and, and donkey, mules, things like that, just kind of wandering out here. Uh, these are too small to be that. And you can also see where it's dragged its foot in the snow. If it was just one side, you might figure out that it's an injur injury on one side, but it looks like on both sides. So um, you can see the different hoofed footprints. It's not a huge gate, so it wasn't running. Something definitely came from here. And probably really pretty recently because that's pretty fresh. So another cool discovery. Well, I'm stopping here to take a little break. Sun is really nice. Um, Here's a couple observations for you. First is temperature. It's probably up around maybe 45, but when I first started it was 40, and it was 36 in Las Vegas this morning. So just because you're in the desert doesn't mean it's burning hot. That's just something to be aware of. Um, second thing is wind. Man, when you get up on this ridge up behind me, that wind definitely kicks up. You start to get a chill. So that's something to be aware of. Um, you see snow everywhere. You've seen it in the other images. Everywhere I'm walking, there's snow. It's not covering the entire ground, but there's patches just all over the place. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's cool that you have a water source, obviously, because of the, the snow there. I will tell you that I'm at about probably 6,500 feet. If you go down a couple thousand feet, there's still a little bit of snow, but it's, I mean, the trees, the resources are much, much more limited. So, at least here you have an option to, uh, 
collect some resources from the trees and such down there it's it's not really the case so there's there's plants and things but uh, I was out there last year at a different elevation and it was absolutely um, way more limited as far as resources so what I'm gonna do now is uh, make a fire take a break have some lunch and uh, yeah then we'll uh, probably head back to the uh, to the car after that So I got some wood collected to set up my fire lay. Uh, the wood is bone dry, so this should be relatively easy to get a fire going. I want to be careful, obviously, because I don't want this to spread. Um, and then we got this bark off this. I think it's juniper again, maybe cedar. I'm not totally sure, but anyhow, just super hairy, light, fluffy. Just, it's gonna go up quickly. So let's uh, set this up and get a fire started. Heat up some cheesy bread here. All right, let's have a little cheesy bread here. Warmed up by the fire. And I figured, since we're out in the desert, let's have some of these. Armatail scorpions. Got them as a gift for Christmas. We're gonna give them a shot. Wow, there's two. There's one. There's number two. They don't taste like much, but I can now say I've eaten scorpion. Now it's time to take a little rest. With this as my background, we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna head down the hill, hop in the rental car, and I may just drive over to California. Why? Well, because I'm out here, and I can do that, so I've got a little free time. We'll have a little more of an adventure. Um, but yeah, it's been great to be out here in the desert today, just taking everything in, taking some video, taking some pictures. Totally new experience out here. It's really been, it's been a lot of fun, been a lot of fun. So, hey, I'd love to hear your comments. Let's hear your thoughts on this video. And also, if you have a lot of experience in the desert, let's hear your, you know, things you've learned over the years in the desert, maybe things I didn't see that you wanna add into the uh, discussion in the comment section. So, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, more videos coming soon. Take care.